Hello everyone, this is Subham Samantre. Today we'll be discussing one of the interesting topic that is liquor ban in India. To understand the entire scenario, let's get done with the policies regarding sale and consumption of liquor. Before starting, we must know India is one of the greatest producers of liquor around the world and adds to 65% of manufacturing and about 7% of imports into the territory. So starting off with the basic policies relating to sell and consumption of liquor. License is needed to sell the alcohol and in some particular states so are the consumers. Usually liquor stores, pubs, clubs, discos, bars, hotels, restaurants are licensed to sell alcohol. In addition to this, beaches and houseboats may have the license to sell alcohol to tourists. The sellers are required to hold a license to sell alcohol, otherwise the selling of alcohol is illegal and prohibited. The permitted age for drinking alcohol varies from state to state. This difference in consumption of alcohol creates confusion, results in difficulty in implementation of the law of consumption age of alcohol. Now turning towards our topic, the subject liquor is included in the state list under the 7th schedule of the constitution of India. Here the history of liquor ban dates back to 1914 wherein Mahatma Gandhi initiated the temperance movement which resulted in significant decrease in the consumption of imported alcohol countrywide. It was the national event which influenced the Constituent Assembly to include the directive principle of state policy within the constitution embracing the obligation upon state to promote, secure and protect the welfare of the members of the society and further increase the level of nutrition and standard of living of its people. But as we all know, DPSP are mere guidelines for the state and are not enforceable in court of law. From the obligation enlisted in the DPSPs, the state government are authorized to enforce laws relating to the same. Therefore, the state government can by constitution enforce a liquor ban. Across India, states are marching towards total prohibition. The first state to enforce a complete liquor ban was Gujarat. Later, Nagaland, Mizoram, and Bihar joined the club. Simultaneously to the Bihar liquor ban case, the Supreme Court also heard the highway case so brought forth by the state of Tamil Nadu. After considering the multiple road accidents on the state highways wherein the liquor shops are owned by the state itself, the Supreme Court held that upon all state and national highways all across the country, The respective governments shall ensure that the liquor shops are located at least 500 meter away from each other, with no exception in any case. In order to conquer the fight over Corona, the government of India imposed a nationwide ban on sale and consumption of liquor. Punjab and Kerala government have included alcohol in essential commodity list to resume the sale of liquor during the lockdown. State governments can exercise delegated powers to include certain commodities as essential for their states if it is done in public interest under Section 5 of Essential Commodities Act. But after resuming the process, there was huge chaos in front of liquor shops, which ultimately broke the pandemic norms. Therefore, the government started finding solutions to combat this issue by introducing reforms like online sale of liquor and levy of corona fee in a few states. There has been a huge change in the stance from 1995 to 2019, as on today, both commercialization of liquor and the liquor ban is constitutional. Hello everyone, this is Kokumilan Choudhury. So after knowing the entire policy, there must be one common question for you. Does liquor ban, either you say, during nationwide lockdown or in dry states, led to desired changes? Let's discuss some factors where alcohol ban is tough and challenging call for the government. We will be discussing four factors. The first and the most prevalent factor is smuggling of liquor in India. Smuggling is quite evident in the dry states. Cross-border illegal transportation of liquor is common in headlands these days. It is a matter of concern for the people of those particular states who are buying the same thing in high price and the same fund is used in other illegal purposes. Even if movie makers, activists, media are actively participating to deteriorate the same, it is increasing with every passing day. 
will this problem be solved automatically or will it be the biggest stone in the path of alcohol free india second topic is about seizing of fundamental right the article 19 1g of the constitution says every person shall carry any occupation trade and business but supreme court is seizing their fundamental right by banning alcohol this is a huge loss of income and source of livelihood to people in the leading case R. Raj Gopal vs. State of Tamil Nadu, Supreme Court observed the right to privacy is implicit in the right to life and liberty guaranteed to the citizen of this country by Article 21. It is a right to be let alone. If banning alcohol is a matter of health, then junk food shall also be banned. Third factor is about effects on tourism. Prohibiting the consumption of alcohol had a very obstructive effect on tourism. The Federation of Association in Indian Tourism and Hospitality said that establishment approved in the tourism category primarily exists for conferences, lodges and dining out experience. None of this promote liquor consumption outside their premises. Almost 9 million tourists visit India every year along with almost 1.8 million domestic visitations. This will be put to risk if the overall food and beverage experience are compromised. The last one is about impact on economy. The sale of liquor contributes the huge amount in states directly through tax. For nearly all state governments, liquor revenues are a cash cow. As many as 21 states, including several large states, derived more than 15% of their own tax revenues from the sale of liquor. When the nation is grappling with falling revenues and rising spending, Ban on liquor will be a tough call for the government. While per capita consumption of alcohol in India is among the lowest in the world, hazardous drinking, binging and solitary consumption to the point of intoxication has become a hallmark and is practiced by more than half of Indian drinkers. So in a country where drinking is discouraged in the constitution and large swears of society fronts upon alcohol consumption, Fiscal prudence might be pushed to the background by politicians eyeing boards. Thank you, and everyone, for sparing time. We hope you like the video. We are on one side looking onto the socio-economic factors. Government is taking steps towards ban on liquor. On the other side, the impact of ban seem to be adverse due to pendency of multiple cases. Let us know in the comment section, ban on liquor or responsible drinking. Which one will be the right step? Cheers.